Now, we've all heard about the green movement, but now there is a new movement in town, one which takes the focus away from the planet and places it on us. It's called the Blue Movement. Please welcome sustainable living expert Lisa Corder to tell us more. <laughs> all right, please explain this to us. Okay, so we've all heard about the green movement, which I don't know about you guys, but I kind of think of hippies and mm. sacrificing stuff and giving things up. The blue movement is all about how we can live the lives that we currently live, but healthier and more sustainably. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's inclusive. It's like a way we can do our bit for the environment by doing what we do every day, and that is by buying stuff, but buying better. So what are some of the simple things we can do if we want to live blue? So if, we want to, if you want to live blue, you just need to start stopping to think about what you buy because mm -hmm. absolutely everything that we buy has an environmental impact. Yeah. Think cup of soup. Mm. What is that? Mm. Like, what, what is that? What yeah. is cup of well, soup? Well, it's in a packet and it's got packets inside it and then you put it in the water and then mm. you get a cup of soup. That's exactly is that what right. you want to know? That's exactly right. Packet. <laughs> Good. So, I mean, that's another really practical way you can live blue. Steer clear of over-processed and over-packaged stuff. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Buy whole foods. And isn't it absolutely ridiculous that at the moment I'm on a seasonal eating challenge. I'm trying to eat only what's in season yeah. and I have to look up a website to find out what yeah. is actually well, in well, season. We were because talking about that earlier. I was just saying how, because I love the idea of eating seasonally because it sounds so groovy. Yes. But I said to <laughs> Yumi and Colette, how do I even know well, what's seasonal? Because the, the, what the supermarkets do is they ship stuff in from overseas to keep us having our asparagus all year round. Right. And all this sort of stuff. And apples, mm. they freeze them. Mm. And that uses a massive amount of, of energy. Mm. So if we're actually going to our local greengrocer, I've got a farmer's market near mm -hmm. where I live mm -hmm. and I can actually buy from the person who's growing it. And you know if it's at a farmer's market that it's, 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 yeah, it's, yes. it's come They're from somewhere close. They're not putting things close. in cold storage. So Lisa, yeah. can I just explain maybe for our viewers who aren't quite across your message, it's a bit like a diet, you know, going too green can be like a diet. It's too extreme for some people to sustain yes. all, the, all the time, all through their lives. So what you're trying to advocate is a gentler approach that we can apply all the time, every day that's not too excruciating. Yeah. I, I think the thing for me is I started to get switched on about sustainability a little while ago. I remember the 2007 election when Kevin yep. Rudd was talking mm. about climate change. It seemed to be kind of, we were all going, uh oh, are we in a bit of trouble here? Yes. And so I decided to think about what I could do. And I didn't know because I am always probably going to eat meat and mm. I like wearing makeup yep. and, you know, I like enjoying you my latte. You are a real rebel. You know that, I'm don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a, you've I'm got a to stop it. I'm a truly horrible person and <laughs> the world is bad because of me. But, but then I heard about this blue movement and I thought, that's something I can participate in every single day and I don't have to give it anything up. I can still enjoy my coffee. Mm. I can still do this and mm. that. I know the fat guy from Fair Trade was on here yes, yesterday. He was yesterday, Steve Knapp. Mm. Such an easy way to make a difference. And if we, as consumers, decided to all buy that Cadbury Fair Trade, Trade Easter egg, yeah. then you bet that everyone else will have Fair That's Trade right. chocolate Easter eggs. I think that um, we don't realise um, as consumers how much power we have That's because true. companies want to make a profit mm. at the end of the day and they're going to react if we start telling them that we want to buy things that are healthier. It's true. Sustainable. Another thing you suggest is using recycled toilet paper. <gasps> How many what, of you have used it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> I am sometimes. <laughs> no. Do you guys use recycled toilet paper? I, I, I don't. <laughs> do you but think, I will. But I don't like the way it looks. No. Do you think that forests need to be chopped down for your dirty No, I do bottom? not. So I will start having the, the toilet paper that I don't like. So it's a I little choice that. like that every so, day. Yeah, every day. If, yeah. It, I will too, I promise. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I have a little I... grove I'm working on behind my house. <laughs> <laughs> my own trees that I can chop down. Can so. I ask you about something that I call the too good to be true offer? Um, you know, 10 pairs of undies for three dollars, whatever. I just bought some socks, you know, for Leo. I think it was 10 pairs for two dollars or something ridiculous. Yeah. Why should we be suspicious or mindful of, of bargains like that? Look, I'm like the next person. I love a bargain. Mm. But I was over at a dear friend's house the other day and uh, she put, we were actually trying on clothes. This is her whole outfit. Oh, she's done beautifully. So, yes, I know. Friend. Thank you, friend. Um, but she, we were trying on a sheer sort of top. And she's like, I've got the perfect colour singlet top to go underneath that. And she told me that she had 20 
of these singlet tops, all in different colours, the exact same singlet top, oh, because they were only $2.95. Mm. But Cotton has had to be grown for that singlet top. Chemical dyes were involved in making it that colour. Someone had to sew it. They were transported to Australia, sold for a wholesale, and then on-sold for a profit for $2.95. Mm. Now, to me, I just sort of think... There's someone's got, paying someone's for that. Yes, someone's yeah. losing out. There's a fantastic... I think everyone should Google the story of stuff and watch that on YouTube. It is a fantastic way to look at the, the process of the things that we buy and the impact that they're having. I love that. So Google the story of stuff and yep. also what is seasonal so that uh, you can do your shopping and well. And also recycled toilet paper. And recycled toilet paper. Yes. It's three things we can all do. Please put your hands together for Lisa Cordell.